I'm Hillary, and I'm going to be making videos for saltwateraquarium.com. But before I started making videos, I wanted to take a few minutes to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about me, and what kind of content you can expect to see from me. So for starters, I'm a marine biologist. I have a degree in marine science, and most of my graduate and undergraduate work was spent focusing on oyster restoration and coastal conservation and ecology. So because of that, I have a special place in my heart for sustainability and conservation, especially when it comes to the ocean. Now, one really cool thing about oyster restoration that I never anticipated before I jumped into that was how fascinating it is for such a small little organism to have such a huge impact on the coastlines, not only for preventing erosion and stabilizing the shorelines, but also for water quality. And that really plays in so much to aquariums and aquarium keepings that it was really no surprise that in college I had a fish tank. I actually had a freshwater tank that eventually turned into a brackish tank and then saltwater. Right now I've got three saltwater tanks at home and I see no chance of quitting or getting out of the hobby anytime soon. But because I would spend so much time outside of school, hanging out, spending time taking care of my fish tanks, when I graduated, I actually got a job at a local fish store helping to manage the fish and all of the supplies and stock that they had at the store. But I also got to go and drive around town taking care of people's aquariums that were in their businesses, that were in their homes. And because of that, I have a vast variety of experience in different kinds of freshwater and saltwater tanks, as well as experience learning and doing plumbing on tanks and compatibility with different types of fish and different systems. But after a while, I realized that I wanted to gear more towards education. So I ended up moving to Las Vegas in the middle of the desert of all places. And that's where my career took off. I actually spent a year working as a sport fisheries biologist and eventually ended up in one of our local public aquariums as a aquarist and biologist and later as a mermaid and a safety diver. But through that job, I got tons of experience, again, working with quarantining fish, um, training fish. I got to work with sharks and stingrays, even jellyfish. And I got to take care of a lot of things on the backside. So repairing pumps, um, working on electrical issues, and again, lots and lots more plumbing. So all of this experience is fantastic, but really I want to inspire and teach people and show them about how amazing these organisms organisms are that we are keeping in our home aquariums. And that's kind of where my blog waterlogged came into play. Now, what kind of content can you expect to see from me? So first off, I'm going to do a lot of what might be considered beginner content. So videos like how to pick out a fish, what to look for when you're buying a fish, how to quarantine your fish or fish compatibility, things that you have acquired knowledge about over the course of keeping fish, but maybe not something that you knew in the beginning that you wish you had known. Another type of video that you might see from me is videos about sustainability and conservation. I mentioned that a lot of my work in school dealt with that sort of thing, and it's still a huge passion of mine. Now, if you think about it, we are keeping miniature ocean ecosystems in our homes. So of anybody, we the hobbyists should be the biggest supporters of ocean conservation and restoration and sustainability. So I will hopefully be doing some videos um, how to be a sustainable aquarist and how to give back to ocean conservation, maybe outside of aquarium keeping, if that is of interest. Now, the last type of video that you might see from me is behind the scenes videos. If you are a fan and have come along from my YouTube channel for Waterlogged, you know that I like to do behind the scenes videos at public aquariums. I always find it fascinating when you go and visit an aquarium, you know, you see these giant massive protein skimmers and you kind of compare it to that little thing that's inside your sump. But it's so fascinating to me to see all that sort of stuff and even to compare from different aquariums and see how different people are doing things because there's so much information out there in this hobby, both professionally and private in people's homes. And hopefully if we share this information, the hobby and the industry overall is going to grow. So if you or someone you know work at a public aquarium and you're interested in hosting a behind the scenes tour, feel free to leave a comment or send a message. We would be more than happy to hear from you. Hopefully we can facilitate a tour. 
All right, that is about as much as I've got for intros today. If you are curious and you wanna see a specific type of video, feel free to reach out. I'll include all this below in the caption, but you can reach me on Instagram, waterlogged1313, or you can visit my website, waterloggedlife.com and connect there. I hope to see you in some of the future videos. Talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.